What's up, cushies? I hope all is well. So in this video, I want to show you guys how I do a full face of makeup using just two palettes from Makeup Forever's HD Skin Collection. And I'm super excited to do this video because these two products have gone super viral on TikTok and all over social media, especially the Makeup Forever Professional Paris HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. This has really been popular on TikTok and I think it's just such a cool concept to just have an all-in-one palette of everything you need it has mix and match shades for a foundation color con concealer contour as well as blush and highlight and i think that that's just such a cool concept because who would have thought like just to have an all-in-one in one place that's so freaking convenient whether it be for traveling or if you're just one of those girlies that like to keep it simple and just want to get one product and call it a day or are just starting out with makeup and don't want to commit to a whole bunch of products i think this is a really great alternative and it's just a great idea and to make matters even more interesting with the hd skin palette you can actually mix mix and match the colors in your palette with the other palette that they offer of a lighter hue and so the palette that i will be working with is in the tan to deep shade range as you can see but they also have a light to tan option i believe as well and so you can mix and match with different palettes and you can pop them out add stuff or rebuy them if you run out so i think that's really cool you can also do that with this makeup forever um hd skin matte velvet foundation palette also i think that is awesome so you could basically keep all of your makeup essentials in one palette and like i said that's great for traveling or just trying to keep it simple with your routine i think that that's absolutely awesome and makeup forever offers really good quality high-end makeup um for relatively affordable prices for what they're offering and for the price that you'd be paying to get a whole bunch of products for a face full of makeup you can get in this one palette that retails for 88 dollars on their website so i think that is awesome and like i said you can separately buy the matte velvet skin palette and you can also add that to your hd skin palette as well as it has poppable little palettes where the makeup is and you can just add them to other palettes and i think that that's just a really cool like makeup technology thing <laughs> just it's like the perfect adult girl toy so let me stop all my yapping and let's get into the video so i really like the simplistic modern chicness of makeup forever's packaging and it's also a really quality tin like a foundation i'll say like it actually has like a lot of density to it so you can tell that you're really getting a lot of product in there i also think they did a really good job of matching the tone the skin tone of the foundation to the swatch that they used for the color of the top of the foundation i found that really helpful when trying to figure out what my best match would be and i think they just did a really good job of swatching that color they do conveniently give you a little sponge in the palette as well but i would actually recommend using a small brush of some sort i think that that applies the product and distributes it around the skin and better and i absolutely love how the product it applies to the skin i have very oily skin so during the warm months i like to use pressed powders and um, powder foundations because i just think it gives you know it just holds everything in place better <laughs> and actually this foundation is a little bit too dark for me but because i do have my summer tone right now and just because of the quality of the foundation itself and it is close enough you really can't even tell on camera and it just gives your skin like this really pretty velvety finish and the coverage is great also a little goes a lot way so you don't need to go crazy with the product either so now that I've applied my base, I am going to go in with the Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. And girl, I absolutely love how they did this packaging for the same reasons that I love how they did the very simplistic quality modern chic feel of the foundation palette as well and one thing i absolutely love about these palettes is how compact they are it's really helpful for traveling or even just an apartment girly like myself who's limited on storage space and really doesn't want to store like these huge bottles of foundation that are going to last for years you know foundations concealers 
blushes all that shit can be annoying it's pretty but it can be annoying so it's really helpful to have everything literally all in one place and not have to worry about a whole bunch of like little items and stuff and i think this is really ideal for traveling whether you're going away long term or just doing a little overnight excursion i would definitely recommend these two products that's really all you need it's it's everything in there so you don't even have to waste time you know with getting minis and everything for carry-ons you just worry about your foundation your eye makeup and you're all good to go so i think that this is such a and clever little hack to come up with and i don't know why this wasn't thought of sooner because it just makes so much sense so i absolutely am in love with this palette and I actually went away to Argentina for about a month in July and I did take this palette with me with a foundation also and it worked great and it truly it really is all you need and it saved me so much space not having to deal with the hassle of taking so many different separate products and really shoot all you need is a sponge your finger and maybe a brush that's it girl So as you can see, each makeup product, like the blushes, highlights, and concealers, each come with about two different options. So I would recommend swatching yourself before you get started just to see which option works best for whatever contouring or blush look you are trying to do. And in terms of order of application, I am applying it as I would any other makeup products um, in my typical routine um just to contour in whatever way i do but i definitely would recommend um definitely knowing which colors work best for whatever contour you're trying to do at that moment before you get started because girl looks can be deceiving <laughs> absolutely love this contour i love how creamy it was i also loved how it swatched also i thought it was a perfect match i typically don't use cream contour as much anymore because the way i was doing it gave me a real like 2016 makeup look to be honest so now i really just contour with with um powder just so i can have like a more natural look but i absolutely loved how this contour came out and it looks so natural it looks very dramatic when i'm applying it but it came out to look so natural and pretty and i just absolutely love it i honestly think this might be even worth investing in just by itself i might go and buy this contour on its own concealer so i just think that it's just came out really pretty and this was the swatch this was the result of only having two swatches and that just shows you how good of quality the makeup is and how much time makeup forever invested into making the the shade range is really diverse um the fact that i was able to so easily get a great contour look because typically even with all of the products out today it's hard for me to still find contour and um concealer that actually looks good on me it doesn't make me look you know like michael jackson or the ghost of make a past you know like girl look at that sun kiss toasty goodness like i absolutely love how this looks on me i think it's a perfect match and that's exactly the look i want just add a little bit more color back in right after you like flush yourself out and so typically after i contour i just go back and add in some base foundation onto my cheeks just to really exaggerate the contour and really you know get that handsome squidward chiseled look <laughs> and look how she's coming together oof just from here like i was completely able to change my facial structure because i have a really wrong round face so i just love that chiseled look and this contour definitely does that look justice and so i attempted to do this fake ass sunset blush look on myself <laughs> 
Um, it didn't quite come out the way I envisioned it, but let me tell you something. I absolutely adore this cream blush. I think the color is beautiful. It's so creamy. It feels so good in your skin. It feels like putting on lotion, honestly. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not crazy about liquid blushes. I do use them a lot, but I think that highlight, I'm sorry, I do think that powder blushes are tend to be better for melanated skin but I just thought that this color was so pretty I used the orange color and the red color so I think that also helped give it an extra level of oomph you know to really show up on my skin but I think the blush is absolutely beautiful even though I'm not crazy about um liquid blushes typically I love this formula And so now I'm just going in and adding some highlight on my cheeks after I already added some to my brow ridge. And honestly, the highlight was gorgeous in the palette also. And I think it showed up really pretty on my skin, but I feel like I wasn't able to do it justice only because I'm not at all used to working with liquid highlights. I almost exclusively use like powder highlights. So I kind of feel like I wasn't able to do it justice, but I think the highlight is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's, it gives a very natural look. So that's really nice but I just kind of feel like after I patted it out it kind of disappeared a little bit but you know is what it is y'all I absolutely love how this beat came out I'm so proud of this finished look because not only does this palette provide that really high quality makeup finish to it as it sets it also just has this really pretty dewy finish to it which I personally love um so if that's not your thing I definitely recommend incorporating some powder into your um routine but I like the dewy look and it also gives like a very natural finish so it's like it looks like you have on makeup but you don't <laughs> and that is the difference between high quality makeup and cheap makeup and also just knowing how to apply it as well but yeah I absolutely love the finished look that this palette provided but again this is how I used makeup forever's HD skin face essentials palette as well as their foundation palette to achieve this beautiful natural beat please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are not and enjoy this type of content till next time cushies